Alright guys, what is up, and today I'm bringing you part 2 for Black Ops Ideas, and I actually have, um, this is actually one of the first commentaries where I've actually wrote thing, written things down to talk about, so uh, I don't forget, and some ideas that I came up with, and, uh, you know, stuff like that. So, something that I really enjoyed about Modern Warfare 3 is the fact that they brought in new game modes, and they've done it through um, not just the start of the game, but they're adding them in as they're going, as the game uh, progresses, which I really enjoy because, you know, they've already added drop zone and infected, and yes, they were private matches, but they made them to the, uh, you know, online multiplayer server, which is really cool. But they also added some really good game modes, such as Kill Confirm, uh, Team Defender, both really good game modes in my opinion, and they're new for this Call of Duty, and um, I think Black Ops 2 should uh, do something like that where they uh, you know they add stuff in to uh do some new game modes you know to freshen things up because kill confirm is a very popular game mode and it went over really well with the community so i hope black ops 2 comes out with some new game modes um i don't really have any ideas for new game modes uh yet i've kind of i haven't really gotten into that yet to think of you know what game modes or what would actually be a cool game mode itself but you know, I kind of let the creative team for Treyarch think of that, and you know, hopefully uh, it goes over well. <clears throat> Another thing that I wanted to add into that is that the DLC, um, you know, Elite is not really the greatest uh, DLC provider. I kind of like the old way better where, you know, the maps would be out all, you know, like at the end of every couple months and you just go down there and get your 20 bucks on PlayStation or Xbox and, you know, you buy the new maps. I kind of like that way a bit better. Uh, and I hope that they don't release one or one or two maps every month. I kind of don't like that. I kind of like having, uh, like the old way. So, I hope they do that instead of, you know, the elite crap. Because even though they probably will do the elite thing, I just don't personally agree with it or like it. I don't really think it's worth the money in my opinion. But, you know, I've already bought it so they have my money. Next thing is that I want to see combat training. You guys remember combat training from Black Ops? I want to see that return because that was an amazing feature. One of my favorite features about the game. The fact that I could go in there and practice, you know, get a couple games before I actually go into a pub match or, you know, just play around with my friends, you know. There was nothing more fun than setting the kills to, like, 7,500 in Nuketown and just, you know, raping some guys, putting them on recruit and just raping the bots thinking that you were a beast, you know. It's where you could actually try out different guns, you know, snipe and stuff like that and not worry about anything, just have fun. I think combat training was an amazing feature and it also helped me, uh... When maps would come out, that I get to learn the maps. I'd go to combat training and play a couple uh, games on the new maps before I jump into the actual, uh, you know, pub games. Next thing is going to be uh, something I think we're all aware of, and that is the death streaks. I think the death streaks need to go. Now, I don't understand how they reward a bad player, even if they are dying numerous times. It's going to say, all right, you're dying numerous times. We don't want you to get too frustrated with the game and never come back. So we're here. We're going to benefit you for dying. I don't have a problem with that. What I do have a problem with is, is the fact that it helps them get kills. And what I mean by that is that death streaks like juiced. What else was there right now? Revenge, uh, hollow points. They're not really bad. Death streaks that actually, you know, guarantee them a kill, final stand, dead man's hand, they need to go. Uh, I kind of wish that they don't, there's only about two or three death streaks, and, you know, it'd be like, uh, juiced, hollow points, and, what's that other one I just said? B -b 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 Revenge. You know, they're fine, because no one complains about them, but dead man's hand, last stand, they have to go. And that also goes in with the next thing that... Final stand slash last stand needs to stay out of all the Call of Duties from now on. You want to know why? Because it's just a terrible perk. Even though it... Juan, let me get this out first. It's a good perk, but it's a cheap perk. You die and you have a second chance. That's not fair. That's why they call it second chance. Um, if, you know, if you're a veteran Call of Duty player, you know that that perk should be taken out of the game since, what, COD 4 and it's still being here. Uh, it needs to go, and hopefully, uh, you know, Losing they're not going to say, there's not going to be any final stand, but we won't, you know, promise there's not going to be second chance, or like, you know, any of that shit like Robert Trollin did. Uh, something else that I think is going to be uh, pretty important in the next game, which I think Black Ops did a fairly good job on, except for maybe the FAMAS. And maybe the G11 is weapon balance. And I think Treyarch's always had one dominant gun or two dominant guns within all the Call of Duties. 
and then, you know the rest of the guns are extremely balanced for the most part. Model for three is pretty balanced. You could argue the Type 95, but I hope um, you know they keep up to par with the Modern Warfare 3's weapon balance. You know maybe the FMG 9s are a bit OP, but you know every Call of Duty has. Or, uh, I guarantee you can't name a single Call of Duty that doesn't have at least one OP gun. So uh, I hope the weapon balance is good as long as it's not too bad where there's just one gun that you can only use, kind of like the FAMAS before uh, Patch Black Ops. That was really uh, it was really really good, and uh, it could beat even this SMGs with rapid fire up close. So, uh, I think near the end of Call of Duty Black Ops, they fixed it and they made it where it should be. So, uh, Treyarch's pretty good at patching those things and listening to the community. Uh, next thing that they patch, well, I think they should patch for Black Ops 2 is Assassin slash Ghost slash Cold Blooded, whatever they want to call it. I, who knows, it'll probably be called Ghost since it's a Treyarch game, but... What they did wrong in Modern Warfare 3 is making Assassin too good of a perk. It makes your, uh, counters marksman, you know, uh, your invisible from UAVs, which is just wrong in the first place. There should be no perk that keeps you completely off the radar no matter what. It keeps you off of portable radars. It, uh, what else does it do? It keeps you immune to EMPs and counter UAVs, so uh, there should be no kill streak that's able to do that. Maybe what my opinion is for Assassin is that they should make it like every third sweep you don't show up. Sorry. Every third sweep you show up instead of, you know, being completely invisible. So, you know how the UAV goes by, sweep, sweep, sweep. You only show up, you only show up on the third sweep, every third sweep. That wouldn't be that bad. And it also counters um, advanced UAVs, which is just completely ridiculous because, uh, you know, Blackbirds had it right, which I actually want to see Blackbird return. I know a lot of people don't. I think they should, but it should be a high kill streak. And yes, I think point streak should be back for uh, Black Ops, but I will get into that a bit later. But Assassin needs to be tweaked. Uh, I think the every third sweep thing would work for me, in my personal opinion. And, uh, you know, it shouldn't make you immune to EMPs or counter UAVs. Even if they're not in the next Call of Duty, they should just really tweak it so it goes in and it's not the only perk that people are using because that's like the only second tier perk you see in the past three Call of Duties being used. So hopefully they do something good about that, as well as something that's being talked about since, like, COD 4 is the knife system. And the knife system sucks really bad. It's terrible how it works, and, you know, I think a lot of, uh, you know, the bad players like the knife system because it's an easy way to win a quick gunfight, but I think it's kind of cheap, and you know what they should do is make it a two-hit knife kill, unless it's above the waist, and then I believe it should be a one-hit. Sorry, no, no, I'm talking about throwing knives for that one. Knife should be a two-hit knife kill. Throwing knives should not be able to kill you unless you're, uh, Unless it's above the waist, because if you get hit in the foot or the knee and you die from a throwing knife, that's just completely silly. This is the end for my uh, second video. I'll probably do one more video, and the third one discusses the uh, final stuff that I wanted to talk about for my ideas for MW3. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Please rate the video and leave some feedback. Peace.